Hi everyone, my name is Megan Jost, senior board member out in Fargo, North Dakota, and I wanted to share with you an online party format that I've been using since February 2019, and it's been working really well for me, so I wanted to share some of the results that I've had for that since I know a lot of people are really curious about doing online parties, but they're not quite sure where to begin. So when I did online parties, this is actually not something that I was excited about. Uh, a lot of us, when we try to do online parties, we just find that it doesn't really give us the results that we want. But I really didn't have an option. If you've ever heard of North Dakota, you know it's freezing cold here, it's windy, and winters suck. And so back in February of 2019, most of my parties canceled. Almost all of them did because when it snows out here, it's so wide open out here that we get blizzards constantly and the interstates will shut down where we physically cannot drive to other towns. And if you've ever been to North Dakota, you know that you do have to drive to get anywhere. And so I didn't have a choice and I didn't want to lose the party altogether. So I decided, you know what, I'm going to learn quickly how to do online parties so that they're successful. So I still have income coming in. I currently do pure romance full time. So when I don't party, if I have nothing on the books, no in-home parties, nothing, I don't get paid. I can't pay my bills. So I wanted to turn the canceled parties from the weather into online parties. This is by no means something that is going to replace in-home parties, but I do think there's a lot of potential with social media. For example, if you, especially if you've been doing this for a while or do this full time, ideally, we want clients that are not local. We would love to have clients that are out of region because it's just going to grow your clientele base even bigger. And so I do now have a large clientele that are not within the tri-state area. So I can't physically drive to them because they're 15 plus hours away. And so online parties are pretty much the only option if I want to get more than just a sale from them and to meet more of their friends and reach potential people that I never would have met if it wasn't for online parties. So uh, with these online parties, I this format, I kind of tweaked it. I used a little bit of information that I got from corporate, other consultants, and then about a year and a half ago, I did take a online class from another um, direct sales speaker. She's not related to Pure Romance at all, but I kind of used all of that and tweaked it to make this format. So this format is one week, one week long, starting Mondays, ending Mondays, and I make the event the Friday prior. So it's not a lot of time beforehand, which is fine. It's 100% online, so friends really don't need a ton of notice. And also with these, uh, this format, I wanted to make sure that it was duplicatable and easy for everyone, regardless if they do permits as a hobby, part-time, or full-time. And so when I created this format, I really thought back and asked myself, would I have been able to do this when I first started pyromance? Because I was also working full-time as a nurse and going to school full-time. So I really wanted something that is Easy to, easy to do no matter what your lifestyle looks like. So one thing I do wanna say is I don't want you to stress over what times you post. Post when you can, it really doesn't matter how early or late. Done is better than perfect as long as you just don't over post, right? And so when I created this format, I also asked a few of my clients if they can kind of do a test run for me because I really wanted their honest feedback on whether they liked it or not, what they didn't like, what can be better. And so I also thought myself, you know, what do I feel like? What do I think when I get invited to all these online parties? Do I like how often that, that consultant is posting or what didn't I like that I wanted to avoid? And the biggest thing that I wanted to avoid was over posting. I personally get annoyed really much. I really get annoyed when I get invited to events and the consultant is nonstop posting. Like I will remove myself from the guest list very quickly. And so I really wanted to avoid that. So with this time frame, you'll be posting, uh, for most of the time, you'll be posting three times a day. There are a few times where you're posting four to five times a day, but that's usually maybe on the weekend. And also with the post, uh, this is something that you, like I said, you don't have to overstress when you post, but I recommend posting in the morning. So whenever you wake up, early afternoon, which can be the beginning of your lunch break, late afternoon, which can be the end of your lunch break, or if you work at home, around 3 to 4 p.m., and then early evening, so when you're done with work, and late evening before you go to bed. If you can go live, definitely do it. However, if you pre-record your videos on YouTube, that's gonna save you a lot of time, and you're not it's not st super stressful, especially if you work a full-time job, have kids, or go to school. So I wanted to share some of my results since I've been doing this. This isn't something that I've been doing consistently yet, but I do think there's magic in doing these. So it is something that I will try to 
continuously have five parties a week. Personally, I feel like I get better results when I do five parties a week all at the same time versus just one a week. And the reason why is because if you have one to two dud parties of the five, you're not going to feel like it's a waste of time. Whereas if I did one party a week or even two parties a week and both of them had nothing come out of it, I'm going to feel like I wasted my time. So I personally prefer to do five a week. And uh, these are the results that I've received from them. So I primarily was doing online parties February and then March. So that's pretty much when we had our worst winter ever. And then I picked it up again this month, August, because I now have a very strong growing clientele that are not in the tri-state area. So I physically can't drive to them, which is awesome. Like I love having clients that are not local. So from the time frame that I did these online parties, here are my results. I've had over $4,500 profit. And some of you, especially if you do this full time, you might look at that and be like, you know what, is that really $4,500? Is that worth my time doing these? But think about most of your team members who do this either as a hobby or even part time. $4,500 is a huge chunk of change that can help their situation. It can help their family. And also if you do this full time, think about how much extra retail in addition that could be on top of your in-home party. So in an ideal world, I'd absolutely love to have five online parties a week on top of my in-home party parties. I also have almost 600 new clients from this and that number is strictly from the uh, form that they fill out for the door prize, which I'll show you here in a second. I have four new team members strictly from these online parties and they're active, they're working their business and they are in states that aren't local to North Dakota. So I can't physically drive to them too far away and I've never met these ladies in person. So it's amazing that we are able to spread our team out across the United States from these online parties. I also booked both in-home and online parties from these parties and I do play a booking game during them, which I'll show you. And I got a lot of future sales from that. So I know Ashley Livermore also is a rock star at online parties and she agrees. She says that Online parties might not be super high in sales, but really the people that we meet at online parties are going to give us future sales. And I can definitely attest to that. I've had so many people that I met through online parties by product testers, packages, sales, all the things. And so uh, this, there's so much benefit in having online parties. So if you have uh, people who are in school or they work full time and they physically just don't have time to do an in-home party, this is a really good option and something that I like to teach uh, consultants once they have a first few parties under their belt. Okay, so I also make all of the uh, online parties a Facebook event just because I and just like my clients, when they gave feedback, they said that they absolutely hate being invited to so many group pages. Whereas Facebook events, you do have that option to totally ignore it if you choose, but uh, it's definitely easier to put everything in one place instead of having 10 million different group pages. So this is what I put in the event description. Of course, this was made when it was cold outside, but one thing I will say, a huge time saver for me is making sure to include the shopping link in the event description. This makes it so easy to copy and paste the actual party ID uh, in each post. So you don't have to keep going back and trying to find that. So if you are a newer consultant or if you have team members that don't know how to make a a uh, product party link that if you click on that button, it'll take you to corporate's um, video on YouTube to show you how to do that. So I'm not going to spend uh, time looking at that since you can definitely check that out later. And then I also uh, post, this is the very first post. So in all the slides, I say uh, post number one, post number two, and then when you make the Facebook event, when you post what days, what time frame, so that it's super easy. You guys, I have this, I have this PowerPoint on our team page, so all team members have to do is literally copy and paste it. I wanted this to be excuse free. So no matter what, if you don't know how to have an online party, you can tag them, be like, here you go, all you do is copy paste, easy. You could be a brand new consultant or seasoned and you'll know how to do this. So post number one is a little tidbit. This is from taken from the Patty Brisbane Foundation. And I like to have that be the first thing that people see because I don't want them to assume it's just bedroom accessories. This is something that um, is a little bit more in depth about what we do. And then one thing I forgot to include in this slide is I do post a picture that is just of a, a woman winking and saying that this is a private Facebook event so you don't have to worry about it showing up in your newsfeed. And I like to post that before my hostess invites anybody because I want that to be the first thing they see. So they're not worried about that. 
So I also included hostess coaching tips uh, for this because you all know that online parties or any party for that matter is going to be a complete bust if our hostess is not engaged. So I'm not gonna read to you everything that I have in here. Uh, I'll just paraphrase it. So this just talks about how to invite your friends, how many, um, and then also I do ask her to pick one or two products in the catalog that she'd like to earn for free. Notice I say earn, I didn't say you will get just for having the online party, she has to earn it. And I asked that because I want her to be more dedicated to the online party because she knows she wants to get something out of it and hostesses or people in general are more willing to work for something and actually do the things you ask if they know they're gonna get what they want out of it. So uh, it's a win-win for both of you. So post number two, um, when I, I when I post these, it's not, so I, I make the Facebook event Friday and then Saturday is Sunday. So you have a whole weekend prior to the party and I'm not posting constantly because again, I don't want to annoy her friends before I even get a chance to interact with them. Coaching, hostess coaching step number two. So I did include pro tips. So pro tips are gonna be for those who have time um, to do a little bit extra or who might be super busy where you don't have time to uh, type everything out. Again, this is just copy and paste. So I will say we are in a relationship business, so we need to keep things personal. And I know I personally get annoyed when someone forwards me a picture and you can easily tell that it's not actually from the person who sent it. It was just a copy and paste script. Uh, so at least with a Mad Lib, so this is what I call a Mad Lib, uh, she can make it personal. So in the Mad Lib, she's going to um, when she reaches out, just say, Hey, I thought of you because X, Y, Z. So that's the Madlib part. She makes it very personal. And then I also include, so before, before the party actual starts, I include a little bit extra about myself on what I'm doing. So I think it's really important that regardless if you do this as a hobby, part-time or full-time, raise money for something that means a lot to you because it's going to build your credibility and trust factor with clients because they see that you're not just doing this for yourself. There is a mission behind what you're doing. So I also, um, I this format that I made is more so created for those who feel like they're way too busy to do anything. And this I would definitely recommend going live for. So it's your I story, your intro, but um, I, again, don't want any consultant to say, I don't have time to do that. So it's super easy to type up your eye story, a little bit about you, share some pictures of your family, your personal life and accomplishments, and then just copy and paste it. All right, so day number one uh, starts out by just getting some interaction. So again, uh, we want to make sure people are plugging in and the average attendance so far has been about 15 people. And I really do believe a lot of that is because you're not posting constantly prior to the party and you're making it a little bit more personal. So this is just to get uh, interaction. Anytime I post something that I want the hostess to like comment on, I will tag her. I used to tag my hostess in every single post, but I found that when I did that, they were less engaged versus when I just tagged them on things like this. And anytime you post something that requires or that you hope uh, people will comment on, make sure you comment on as well, because anytime you have comments on your post, people are going to say, oh, look, someone commented, I better too. So they're more likely to engage with you if you have comments in your posts. Next, uh, lingerie. So these are some pictures that were shared, shared on the board and senior board page of real women. And I think that is huge just because a lot of people, especially when you look at models and magazines on lingerie, I kind of feel like discouraged. I'm like, that looks great on her, but I do not look like that. And that probably won't look good on me. So I absolutely love that we have these pictures. If you do not have access to this, reach out to me or look in the destination, destination success page and we will get them for you. Next is I have videos on YouTube. So again, I do not go live in any of my online parties because I want my potential team members to see that, hey, I'm doing this from home. They can do it too. It's not going to interfere with their life. So all of my videos are on YouTube. And so I just have links in there for them. And then after every single uh, product that I talk about, I include the, um, the product link to puromance.com so that they can uh, see the product specifically instead of having to kind of search and try and find that product. If you've ever been on our website, it's not the easiest to navigate through if you're not quite sure where to go. So that's why I like to make it as easy as possible for those watching the Facebook event. And if you see, um, let's see if I can show you, 
right here. This is where, when you put your party link up in the event description, this is where it makes your life easy, especially if you're doing this from a computer, because this post is going to be up and all you have to do is copy and paste the uh, party ID into here. So you don't have to constantly try and find it or um, type it individually every single time. All right, so Monday evening is when I post the door prize slip. So this is where you're really going to get, they're kind of like your connection cards. So you're gonna get all of your client information. So if you click on the, the picture, it will bring you to mine. So it basically just asks for their name, who's the party for. I keep this very generic because I don't want to make a new one with each individual hostess. And so it just asks um, exactly what it, what's on a connection card. So about having a party, joining, and then I do have a bonus entry for them if they do uh, one of the followings, mailing address, email address. And then I also ask about product testers because that is a huge source of income when new products come out. And really, oh, sorry, really good to have. So the next hostess coaching step is just to let her know that you posted it. And uh, I ask her when you get a chance today, please tag your friends, those that are marked as going and maybe this way everyone gets a chance to win and you can enter too. One thing also to make sure to do on by the first day is to mark everyone who has seen the Facebook invite to maybe. In the past, I used to mark them as going, but a lot of people didn't like that. So now I mark them as maybe. And also I want to see who organically put themselves as going. I don't want to guess like, did I move her over or did she mark herself as going? I want to know um, who did it themselves. So the next few products and posts are just about products. I don't, I'm not going to go too much in detail about that because it's very self-explanatory. Every single day around lunchtime, I do like to post um, interactive posts. And so this one I created and it basically is all about our essential oils. They don't know that yet, but they will a little bit later. So again, just some um, products. And then Tuesday evening, I reach out to my hostess and I go through the door price slips and write down everybody who says they want to order because I am offering an incentive the next day. And so uh, I believe it's board, but definitely senior board members got um, discount codes to use. We're kind of testing this out and see how it goes, but we have discount codes. So that's what I offer them for those who order on Wednesday. Or another thing that you can do is Maybe everyone who orders gets a free gift when, um, when they treat themselves to $50. And so it could be something like a sample pack and a coupon for the next order. It doesn't have to be a full-size product. You know, you don't have to give away the farm to do that. So remember, if you see this, uh, so Wednesday morning, this is what I post. And currently our company is doing a coochie for life drawing and giveaway for our hostesses. So that's what this picture is about. Uh, if you, if, corporate is not doing any extra incentive for our hostesses. Remember that your hostess told you what two products she wants to get for free by earning it. And so that's where you can create your goal sheet and uh, pick a retail value that would earn her those products. So remember that you want online parties to be duplicatable, right? So if you look if you look high end, meaning you are dressed to the nines, you have your makeup and your hair done, is that something that your team can easily do as well? I'll, I'll tell you myself, I cannot do my hair to save my life and I don't understand makeup. Like I don't know how to make, to contour or anything like that. And so when I see consultants look just amazing, yes, it looks very professional, but at the same time, it makes me feel like I could never do that. And I would definitely um, hesitate if I were to try something like that because I knew I couldn't make myself look like that. So always keep that in mind. And also I am a firm believer, just like in-home parties, with online parties, we should be planting seeds. So although the picture on the right is, or just in general, this post is targeting the hostess and her goal, the background, if you've noticed, has two, two sponsoring seeds. So the first one, you can see I'm not really wearing a lot of makeup. So this, this uh, subtly suggests that I'm doing this from home and I am in comfy clothes. The second one is my goal board. So this represents that you could accomplish anything with Pure Romance. So um, also Pure Romance Facebook page, uh, they advertise the code social10 and I'm not sure if that changes often, but I know currently they do. And if you do not have a discount code provided by corporate, this is an incentive that you can use for a discount. So social10 is the coupon code for the websites for that. But like I said, don't break the bank when you're giving away incentives. Uh, and then also back to the door prize entry. I only pick a winner once we have 10 people entered. And that is just um, one or two samples and a discount for the next order. And they get it mailed 
out with their order. All right, so Wednesday morning is when I post about the essential oils and the website link will um, automatically populate a picture of them. And like I said, uh, every time during lunch, I do like to try and post an interactive so that people are, are commenting on that. And most people go on their phone during lunch. So that's why I am not posting videos while like in the morning because they're at work, they're not going to be able to watch it. But at lunchtime videos or something interactive is a great time to post about it. Okay, some more products. Post is coaching on Wednesday. I recommend that she post a picture of herself, a selfie or brownie points totally if she goes live and shares her mild products. Even though people are getting notifications if they're marked as going or maybe, just like in-home parties, people think we're here to sell them and they're gonna believe their friends over anything that we say. So that's why I ask that she uh, post a selfie with herself. Oh my gosh, a selfie with herself, of course, <laughs> of her favorite products. Okay, so just a few more. So again, uh, this just goes through what you post. And then Thursday, so Wednesday is pretty much when you're going to get the majority of orders because your hostess tags them, um, you have an incentive. And then Thursday, I still want to get more orders. So the majority of orders come Wednesday and Thursday, and then a few, one or two maybe come in the day the party closes on Monday. So this is an incentive I, I post to try and get more sales and parties. So this is just the deal or no deal uh, game that everybody is familiar with. So it gives them an incentive to um, buy something, join and have their own party. And I do have the scripts below in the presenter notes for if you look at the actual presentation for this, it includes a script for those who are out of region as well as those who are in region. So I'll just keep going. Um, like I said, I'm not going to go over too much in depth since you guys can read this on your own. Friday evening, I post an incentive to uh, join and um, the incentive is just $25 in credit that they can use on whatever products and I don't pay for that out of pocket. I bought the opportunity brochures that has that coupon code in them. All right. So we did have new products come out, so I need to make new videos. So that's why some of them are like that. And then this is my booking game. So this is the booking game, very similar that I play in person and at in-person parties where I generally book three to parties at every single party. Anytime you tie something to the hostess, people want to help their friends out. And so it will be successful if you make it all about the hostess. And so this also, um, the hostess only gets the $50 in free products once all parties hold. And if you're primarily only doing, like let's say you have a group of clients that are out of region, meaning that you cannot physically drive to them and all three parties held and you're like, well, they were a bust. <laughs> they're only $100 in sales. Don't be scared to put a cap or a requirement on um, what the party sales need to be in order for this to count. So if your average party online party sales are $100, don't be scared to say, when you do hostess coaching, be like, um, so-and-so will get the extra $50 when your party hits X amount in sales, which is totally easy to do if you're willing to work with me. Don't be scared to say that, okay? Some more hostess coaching, just a reminder for the hostess that you're done um, posting and to encourage her to reach out to her friends. Sunday afternoon, thanking everybody for attending the online party and having the hostess also uh, thank everybody for coming. And then the very last day of the party, Monday, just a reminder that today is the last day to order. And then about an hour or so before the party closes, I put this on there and everyone thinks that's really funny. Um, a few other tips. So anytime someone orders, I do say thank you so much, Olivia, for supporting Sydney and treating yourself to some goodies with a motivational quote. And the reason why I do this is because it's really important that the guests of the party are seeing that people actually are ordering. This is not a breach in confidentiality since we are not sharing what they got, but it does show that, hey, people are ordering. And it also lets the hostess know uh, that she's getting some orders. After the party is over, this is what I send out um, to my hostesses. And it, it, I give you the different options for those who actually got sales and then those who did not get sales from the party. And I think a lot of times when we talk to our hostesses, we forget that they are our number one leads. They're, they obviously love the products. They think the parties are fun. Why wouldn't they be interested in doing this themselves? You know? So I tell them um, that they can upgrade and get 
65% off a kit to join if that's the current sale. And I do also put in plus an extra $25 in freebies that you can use to treat yourself. And then what can I get for you with the link? Um, and that's where I got three of the four uh, team members from this post or from this message and then another one um, from the door price slip. So with the door price slip, it'll tell you, uh, you get the results and it tells you who said that they're interested in doing this. And so one thing that I do with that is after I get them in, I reach out to that person. I say, hey, so-and-so, uh, I was looking at the door price slip and I just have a quick question about yours. When you get a chance, uh, I love to ask you a question. And that way you get a response from them. And then that's when you can say, I saw that you're a little bit curious about doing something like this or even having a party. What, what interests you in doing this? something like this, um, making extra money, meeting new people, having something fun to do, and you can kind of see where that goes. So this is the format that I use for my online party parties. It is really easy. And if you are having multiple, multiple parties, like five in a week, so they're all the same time, it is so easy to just copy and paste and put it in each party. So when I do have multiple parties, I'll pull up all the tabs on my computer and it takes me to less than three minutes, a little bit about two minutes, 45 seconds to copy and paste each post because you're doing it all at the same time. So I hope this helps and I will share the actual presentation link below the video. Uh, and so if you have any questions, you guys, please reach out. I hope this works for you and have fun partying.